All right, let's go and load this all up into the back there. Got a few small mailboxes and uh, parcels to load up. Nothing too big today, doesn't look like. Uh, okay, we've got a bigger package over here. We'll load that up last here. Okie dokie, let's just go and grab this here and load this into the back. So today we're taking a trip into Springfield, uh, like we usually do every month. It's kind of our, our monthly trip into Springfield. Uh, I'm not usually taking this route, um, so this is going to be a bit of a change for me. I've been over here before, it's nothing new, but, you know, I don't usually take this route over to Springfield. We do have to pass over a checkpoint, but that should only delay us by four or five minutes. There's no point in thinking we're going to fly straight through there. You know, we have to go through a couple of checks with these vehicles, especially with all the packages we have in the back. I think we're loading around 80 packages today, bring them and dropping them over at Springfield. So just finished the load up here and we should be done and dusted. We'll be heading on the road in the next four or five minutes or so. And it should be a relatively quick journey today. Once we've done this as well, we've got ourselves an hour lunch break, which is Honestly amazing, honestly amazing. We're gonna head into Springfield. I've got a nice cafe marked out, so I think it would just uh, be nice to take a bit of a relaxing lunch break. All right, let's go and shut the back there. Perfect, perfect, go and lock that. Right, we're just going to sign out here. It looks like it's pretty quiet today, so we'll just go and turn this off for the moment there. Sign out, okay, perfect, perfect. I think we're ready. Have we got the documentation? Let's just go and grab that. Okay, and um, we're just going to close the storefront door for the moment because it doesn't look like we have anyone manning the front desk today. That's fine. Okay, go and lock that up. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's uh, make our way out here and head over to the checkpoint. I think a lot of these packages as well are going to businesses in Springfield, so uh, shouldn't be too many stops, which is always nice. All right, go and roll open the shutters there. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and drive nicely out. The uh, snow's stopped, which is good here. Excuse me, hi, how can I help you? Sorry, we've just closed up. I'm heading out here, so how can I help you? Yeah, this is, yeah, we've just closed. Uh, there's a mailbox at the front over there. You can drop it in there and it'll be collected uh, in due course, but I'm about to head off here. It's urgent. Right, well, I'm, I'm sorry, it needs to go through processing. You paid for priority. Um, Okay, okay, okay. Go go around to the front, go around to the front. I'll, I'll get this quickly processed here. All right, uh, hi there. So, yeah, okay, you've got this priority booked. Sorry, let me just log on to this real quick. Okay, uh, what's your name, please? And if you could just put that on the counter there. We'll just go ahead and scan this in real quick. Uh, hopefully I can get this on the load I'm just delivering. Daniel, uh, what's your surname, please? And uh, are you a resident of River City at this current time? Daniel Phillips. Let's see, do you have an account? I can't find an account. Would you like me to make yourself an account? Or would you like to be a guest at this time? Okay, guest, right. Okay, I'm gonna log you in there. That's fine, okay. Uh, let's just go and get this. We're gonna scan the barcode on top of the package. All the packages are in the van. No one's gonna be stealing them. It's fragile. All oh, right, okay, I'm gonna mark that with the sticker then. Okay, okay, Springfield, right. We can get that delivered, same day delivery, okay. Uh, right, I just need you to pay, that will be $10.45 for upfront shipping, please. Uh, card reader's just there. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll make sure to get this on the van and load it up. Thank you. Okay, log off there. Now slightly behind schedule. Let's just go and get this scanned, loaded up onto the system here. And perfect. We're going to go and put a fragile sticker on this just to make sure we don't have that breaking. Upon delivery, apparently it's heading to a house in the north of Springfield. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go and get this loaded up here. Meanwhile, let's just close the door behind us. Go and lock the shutters there. Okay. There's two routes we can take. I think we'll just take the... Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and head via River City. It'll probably be quieter this Saturday. Yeah, yeah, that'll probably be quieter today. So we're just going to take this route. And it should be no longer than a half an hour journey, including, hopefully including, stop time. Sometimes it does take a bit longer, but hopefully no longer than 45 minutes at least. And then we can be back up on track running smoothly. Snow seems to be picking up slightly, so hopefully we can get to the uh, cafe inside of Springfield before it picks up too much. I haven't really got the clothing uh, to be walking around inside these negative temperatures, so... Let's just make our way over here quickly. Uh, third exit, I believe, on Highway 55. Okay, I believe it's... All right, we're going to go and take the right here. And we're going to line up behind this extremely bright pink. Not even sure what car that is there. 
Okay. Uh, right, I expected that. He's ah, great. great. Okay, I'm going to go and merge right here. I haven't been here in ages. They've changed this up slightly. Um, definitely changed this up from the last time I've been here. Seems like they've expanded this slightly. Not sure if that's just me, but it seems like they've expanded this slightly. All right, La very, very large turning radius of this thing. So let's try not to knock anyone there. All right, come to a stop. Okay. Uh, good day there. Welcome to Springfield. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I've got the... I've got the registration and all of the information, so uh, I'm guessing just pull over. Okay. Yep, license vehicle registration, that's all packed here with me. There you go, We're just gonna hand that out the window. I'm just gonna put my hazards on for the moment there. Okay, hopefully that should all be good. Uh, yeah, we're delivering. Uh, as you can see, just delivering to Springfield, got about 80 packages, and uh, should be returning back within an hour or so. Honestly, it seems to be quite busy today, which I didn't really expect, but at least I'm front of the queue. Uh, can we open the trunk? Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, I'm just going to pull up, give that uh, pickup a bit of room. Is that the same? That is the same pickup. Why? I, I don't understand. Why do they need me to deliver the package if they're going across the border themselves? I don't understand. We're going to open up the back for you. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, there. There you go. Back's all opened up there. 80 packages, around 30 on the left, 50 on the right there. All stacked up, labeled, and... We've only got a couple of fragile boxes, not carrying any batteries, any uh, explosives, anything like that. All right, they're just going to go and check that. We'll just go and stand over here or we'll probably sit in the cab, actually. Really cold outside in them. Unfortunately, I didn't pick better clothing to wear today, but, you know, I'm going to be inside the cab here, which is nice and warm. Something's going on back here. Uh, hey, sorry, is there a problem? All right, here you go. I'll scan the box for you there. On the systems, it's coming up as... Two four no hold on two zero four one, uh it's at a house house at the top of Springfield that's where this box is heading to, uh registered oh that's yeah that's a box that the there's a guy gave to me Daniel Phillips I believe he gave to me just before I left uh, Daniel Phillips wanted the box heading to Springfield two zero four one house in Springfield they just said it was fragile I scanned it through didn't seem to have anything that popped up okay, that isn't looking too good there. They've opened up the box. I'm not sure what's inside, but it seems to be flagged up, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I I can check the system here, but there's nothing suspicious popped up on our ends when the box was scanned in. All of the boxes are picked up from singles. No, all the boxes were picked up from the post office. My job is delivering them to the locations. They've been picked up by someone else brought to the post office from possibly hundreds of different uh mailboxes around River City so that particular box as I said was handed to me before I left um it was just given to me by someone called uh, Daniel Phillips that's all what's going on here's the deal we don't know what's in the box yeah I don't know what's in the box either they're taking me down okay they're taking me down to the station for questioning or taking me somewhere for questioning I'm not sure where we're heading off but they're taking me somewhere for questioning which is not great okay i don't i'm not the one in trouble here i don't think or at least i hope not i'm just being asked what's what's in the box essentially i don't know anything about this uh you want me to hop in the back never been in the back of a police vehicle or a, a border patrol border customs vehicle not the most luxurious of travel but it'll do getting me to the station i, I believe that's where they'll take me or i hope so it was the same package that the guy just before I left handed to me, Daniel Phillips. He, I don't, I don't know why he handed me, it was fine, it was just a normal box. It sounded like there was maybe a new phone in it or something. I didn't really uh, see anything unusual about it. What is this? The US Customs and Border Protection. Oh gosh, I thought they were just taking me to a hut or somewhere. No, they've actually taken me to the department headquarters or wherever this place is. They've taken me to the headquarters or somewhere. Are we in Spring? I don't know. Are we? No, we can't be in Springfield. This must be River City side. Uh, through the door we go. And all right, we're going into one of their offices here. Oh, gosh. Like, I've got nothing to hide. So this should be relatively easy, I hope. Yeah, just sorry. Just for the record, I want to say you probably know this, but we're not allowed to open these boxes. It was handed to me. I got this on CCTV. If you like, you can call up my manager. I'm not sure if they'll respond instantly, but we have this all on CCTV. I honestly have nothing really to hide. I, I was given the box. I put it in my truck. It went through the normal procedures it normally did. Okay, uh, look, we found a box that's very strange. Right. I'm just kind of trying to process this all. So we've been taken in. 
Uh, yeah, okay, so they've just got given some papers here. Yeah, look, look I, I don't really know. They, they haven't really found anything strange inside the box. They're pulling me over. Uh, look, I... Is this the guy? Yeah, that's the guy who gave me the box about an hour ago now. Yeah, they, they came into the station, gave me the box. They said it was urgent. Um, they, they paid and everything. I got it on record. It was fine. They have an arrest warrant. So I'm guessing that's why they, they flagged up because the, the package was owned by someone. All the information I really know. They're driving a green pickup truck. Pretty new, I'd say. I'd say I think it's a Dodge. So that's all I really know, to be fair. That's all I really know. Look, how, how long is this going to take? Not to be rude, but I do have a truckload of packages that need to be delivered by this afternoon. I'm already running late, so... How, how long is this going to take, or will I need to call someone? 30 minutes, okay. Alright, 30 minutes should be fine. Just go and sign this paper. Uh, there you go, that's all signed and filled. Just information about myself and the truck there, that's all. Uh, that's all fine there. There you go, just hand the back. Okay, alright, they're going to drop me back at the border, and... I'm guessing they're sending some officers over to check out this Daniel Phillips person. Okay, okay, thank you. Great, so that was relatively quick. Okay, they're going to be contacting me this week. Right, so am I, am I free to go at this moment? Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. All right, ha have a good day. Have a good day there. Thank you for your, um, well, understanding of the situation. Let's just go and make sure this is all locked up, actually. Uh, yeah, that's all locked up. Okay. Perfect, let's get back on the road and, well, I don't think I'm going to be getting that lunch break anymore. That was a dramatic uh, hour or so. Let's head into Springfield and get these delivered quickly before, well, before the day ends, hopefully. I'm going to take a left here. We'll first start with this uh, cul-de-sac of houses. And uh, then we go into the city from there, or the, the town from there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to go and consider subscribing to help with the channel a lot. Mass thanks for having taken part in today's video. If you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers and Roblox groups. Links in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and see you in the next one. Goodbye.